Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, episode 12. The boar bears his fangs, Zenitsu sleeps. Zenitsu sleeps? Is that part of his power or something? Because last episode, Tanjiro was about to say that uh, you know you're going to be okay because you're something and then like he was cut off because that demon in the suzumi mission like showed up and yeah so he was cut short so i'm like he must be strong right even though he he's just <sighs> like he was whining so much like so much yo and i feel like it was way too much in an episode like seeing him do that like every every like i feel like in every other scene, you will see him whining about something. You know, wanting Tanjiro to protect him. And then even the bird, his bird, the sparrow, was like tired of it. Because him and the and Tanjiro can like communicate. So, there was that. And then, we got introduced, sort of, to the demon hunter with demon slayer with the boar on his head. He was just like running straight toward the demon and was like ready with his sword, two swords. That the sword had this design that was kind of cool. So yeah, he was about to attack that demon, and then the demon had something on his chest that where if he like his hit hit it, then the layout of the mansion would have changed and stuff like that. So yeah, oh yeah, and then there's these two kids whose brother was captured by the demon and. That's why Tanjiro and Senesu went in there to try to save them. And then there was the one person that escaped the mission but then died. And the demon mentioned something about that person having a rare blood. Hopefully they're gonna go into detail about that. So let's check out this episode and here we go. <laughs> Okay, so the title of this episode was The Boar Best His Fangs. Okay, so let's first talk about him. The way, first, when the, the demon was like, boom, and then the thing was changing, at first he jumped off of Tanjiro, and I'm like, okay. And then when he, the little girl was on the floor, and then he had his foot on him, on her, and I'm like, yo, well, like, what's wrong with you? And then he started, he said was about to attack Tanjiro, and I'm like, he said something about no human has ever, I don't quite, I don't quite remember what he said, but he mentioned, he called Tanjiro a human, right? So I'm like, is he not a human? It looked like he was a demon slayer, right? So... Yeah, he's a demon slayer because Tanjiro said that he had the Nichiren swords. He only demon slayers have those, right? So he's a demon slayer, and then he's about to attack Tanjiro, who's also a demon slayer. And then he's like all about slashing it. I seen the the demon. I feel like he just wants to. He's all um, <laughs> I was say blood hungry. Like he just wants to fight, and he keeps saying something about. Whatever fight is in front of him is like a, a, a step, a step towards something. I don't know what he's stepping toward, but I don't know. I just didn't like him. Like he, when he fought that demon, he was cool and all that. But his his personality, maybe it's just this first episode that I'm actually like seeing that kind of personality from him. So maybe it's gonna change in the future. Maybe that's not all that he is but like yo nah right now i'm not feeling him and then zenitsu they said zenitsu sleeps when i heard that title i'm like zenitsu sleeps it must be something it must have something to do with his power right and then when in this episode him and, and that boy they were sort of like running away and then that boy like called him and he, he just started freaking out again i'm like yo like can you calm down your freak out and then that demon came across the paths, right? And then he just was so afraid that he lost consciousness. And I'm like, okay, there has to be. <laughs> I feel I feel like I figured out that he has a double personality. 
before all that happened because as he fell asleep and i'm like he can't just be this right he has to be more so there has to be a force something in him that's made him become a demon slayer so when he lost consciousness and i'm like okay is he gonna wake up like is another personality of his gonna like wake up and fight the demon and all that and that's what happened and he was so cool man he was so freaking cool his thing was like the thunder breathing form and like thunder clap or something or and flash or something he was so quick with his movements and he just slashed that demon off i'm like yo he was so cool y'all and then after that happened he went away and then our whining Zenitsu like comes back and he didn't know that he's the one that did it so I don't know how that works maybe he's like okay his personality is that when he's in the Zenitsu that we know and all that that we see all the time the whiny one I feel like when he gets so afraid that he loses consciousness that's when the other one comes out so that's what I'm like reminding me of a uh, um mob in mob cycle 100 like when his fear level is like a hundred percent then that's when the other one comes out and he was so cool man like i love that scene and then the demon with the suzumi on him was like he wants to eat all these humans and he mentioned the marechi and then the crow explained that the Marechi is like a rare human, a rare blood human. And that those are worth like maybe 50 humans or 100 humans, depends on how rare the Marechi is. So that's what this human is looking for. Like he's looking for those Marechi. He wants, he wants to eat them so that he can become stronger and that he can become a part of Muslim's inner 12 demon circle or whatever. Then he, then we went to this little backstory of how Muzan saw this potential in him, and then he gave him his this his blood, and then he's like, I'm guessing he's like eat a lot of demon, a lot of humans, and then like they always said that uh, the more human you eat, the stronger you become, right? And then there came a point in that backstory where Muzan is like, you can't eat anymore, right? So uh, do they get full? so funny <laughs> i guess it makes i don't know but he's like you can't eat anymore right and then he stripped him of whatever number he was like he stripped him of his ranks and that's what this demon was trying to go back to trying to get so strong that he's gonna go back to being the 12 one of the 12 Okay, and then you have this little kid. Oh, they found the, br the brother. He was by himself in this room, and he says to Tanjiro that uh, those three demons that were, well, the Suzumi one is not defeated yet. Those two others, like, when the Suzumi was uh, about to eat him, I guess, the other two came out, and they're like, okay, they want to eat the him right so they started fighting and then he lost one of his suzumi and he used that to hit on it he used it to escape sort of so when tanjiro smells the other one coming he's like okay y'all use this to like escape all the time if you hear some kind of sound people are coming toward you or something just hit on it and then the thing is going to change so that it'll keep you safe while he fights the suzumi demon and then once he's done he's going to use his sense of smell to find them again and get them out i wonder if there are i don't think there are other demons in there right because in when that kid was talking about the story there was only three and they defeated two of them the boar defeated one and then um zenitsu defeated the other so you only have the suzumi one left and then Tanjiro is like, he is in such pain. I keep on forgetting that after he fought those two demons, the arrow and the tamari, 
demon after he fought those that he had broken ribs and all that so i keep on forgetting that those injuries are there and he mentioned it and how much pain he is in like when he moves anything that he does he's in, he's in such pain and then he figured out how the the suzumi was using his thing you have one on the left one on the right one on the center right like a belly or sort of one on the right leg one on the left leg so when you hit the left the thing moves to the the room shift to the left right and then it's the center one that does the bear attack so he is afraid of that bear attack because he feels like since he's in such pain he can't move as quickly as he can so that bear attack if he's not careful is gonna like slash him and then he remembers <sighs> what's his name He remembers what Kodaki told him about his water breathing techniques and that water can take so many forms. Like if he's hurt then there's gotta be some kind of form that can compensate for that. And then he's like getting ready to slice and dice the demon. So that's gonna be a nice episode. <laughs> I don't know what kind of form, like how he's gonna use his water techniques, how he's gonna combine them. Because he combined two of them in a previous episode, right? So yeah, he's probably gonna defeat that demon. <sighs> can't wait for that can't wait for this. can't wait to see it <laughs> okay is there anything else that i want to talk about that happened this episode that's worth mentioning i don't think so i think i talked about what i need to talk about so yeah i love this episode i loved it thank you guys for watching well, I wish we could see more of the other personality of Zenitsu than the current one, current one that we see. But hey, it, he only comes out, I guess, when he's furious, like, ooh, and he passes out. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I will see you on Sunday for my reaction too. Demon Slayer episode 13 and if you want to see that reaction right now you can do so by checking out my Patreon you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well now thanks for watching and I will see you on Sunday bye